Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello, peoples. Welcome to Sharp Ends. During my last unboxing, I opened up this. This is the Frontier, the large Frontier Trapper, an ABL. Very good looking knife. There's a link up top here for my first impressions of this knife. But it's a high saber grind. It, it has a very unique shape. The geometry on it is really good. This is a natural micarta. Very just that it fits in the hand perfectly. And what happened is I ordered this. The Frontier Trapper is something I've wanted for a long time. And I ordered this. Uh, and before I ordered it, I searched and searched my email, but I couldn't find anywhere. I thought for sure I had ordered one on the uh, four on the floor or the red wall or something like that. That was like a semi custom from LT Wright. As soon as this order arrived at my door, I got an email that they were shipping this out and I'd already paid for it, baby. This is an extra large Frontier Trapper. So let's take a look at this and compare the two of them. Um, and also, you know, this is kind of a base model and this one I was able to specify a couple of things about the handle and uh, like that. So let's take a look at that as well. So here we go. All right, so this is interesting. The um, regular, huh, no fire loop on the extra large. So this is an extra large, not a large. So it's gonna be a lot larger, but there's no fire loop on this one. And also this is a dangly, and this is just a belt. But they're both the same size sheath. Interesting. I'm pretty sure this is an extra large. I guess maybe the sheath will hold both. Let's see. All right. So LT Wright is an American-made company, kind of smaller than Bark River, um, and I like them a lot. I'm a part of their pot house, which is like an exclusive group. You pay $20 a year, and then you can get some custom orders, semi-custom orders from them, uh, and part of a really great group forum there. So I would check it out if I want. All right, yeah, I, this, this is larger. <laughs> um, I got paper. I believe that this is shiny paper, and then I got the deep red liners on that. Look at that handle. So the handle itself, I think is the exact same size. No, it's just a little bit chunkier, maybe. Maybe, it's hard to tell. But I really like the way, so I really like this. I think that this is shiny paper is what it was, but maybe I'm wrong. Does it say on here? Um, it does not say, and this is for four on the floor. Okay, XL, four on the floor, also AEBL, which is a stainless steel um, that is uh, just really good. It was made originally for razors. I've said that a billion times, I, uh, but uh, it's it's a great stainless steel. I, I like it a lot. Same thing, basically, as 14C28N. All right, let's open it up and take a look. Just for, for uh, this was the, this was the, uh, the, the, the sheath that came on this and you can see how much bigger this is all right so let's see <laughs> all right it is a big knife it is definitely bigger than my genesis scandy and definitely bigger than the gns and definitely bigger than the bravo right we're looking at whoo wee baby five inches jesus that's a big looking good looking knife sharp spine as usual from lt right they don't round off that burr uh i really like this brass pin i, re I really do like this i like the look look at how nicely this color combo that I went with looks. I really, really like that. This is another, I believe this was, well, this this might be red wall. I, I kind of, see, I did black liners here with the double red and it doesn't really show, but this really shows that really, I must have done just red G10 for that. Um, I, I'm my, uh, I, earlier in the video, uh, I will have flashed up what this handle material is. I think it was like pressed paper, but it looks like micarta. I don't know what it is. Um, but it looks really nice. Wow. So, um, five inch blade. And now I have the large frontier trapper 
and the extra large. I guess I need to get the small one just to complete the set, but that would be insane, right? Um, uh, this this was on the website. In fact, the Large Frontier Trapper, as of this recording, is currently on the website in this configuration, not, not any other configuration, but this configuration, I believe it's on there. Um, and uh, if you want access to something special like this, where you can kind of pick some of the handle materials and stuff like that. Uh, and also, I feel like it's cheaper, too. Like, it takes a while for you to get this order. I feel like I made this order months ago, and it just came in. Um, this is interesting. Usually the spines... Let's see if I can show you this. The spines are usually, you know, a, a sharp 90-degree turn for fire steels. And here, but there's no... Can't, maybe right here you can see just... I don't know if it's coming up on camera. Just a little bit of the burr. Look at this guy. You can see a lot more of the burr. Maybe it's because of the curve or something. I haven't noticed that before. I mean, it's not no big deal. Um, and in fact, what I'm probably going to do is just take a uh, take this to a stone and just or a strop, and I'm just going to lightly strop the top edge here just to make it so that it just slightly rounded, not rounded, but just take take that burr off. Um, it, this is feels screaming sharp. Uh, do I have a piece of paper that's worth cutting? Let's see, guys. Yeah, well, this is this is a piece of paper that's been cut a lot. I need to bring more paper down here. But this is a good test for this. All right. So we'll start from the heel and go to the tip and try to do an S cut. Oh, God. Yeah. Very, very, very sharp. Yeah. Just let's go point in and then out. Yeah. So point, very sharp too. The Frontier Trapper, oh, did I do that with the right knife? Did I do it with the other knife? I feel like I did that with the wrong knife. Sorry, guys. Um, let's try this piece of paper. So that's the problem with using paper that's been used a lot already. Oh yeah, so very sharp. If I use, yeah, very nice. All right, super sharp. Their sharpening is always good. Their heat treat is always very good. I feel like, I don't know, who do they do their heat treat with? Peters? Someone tell me. I don't think they do it in-house, but the, the heat treat is always spot on, especially for their AEBL. Got this nice pothouse logo right here, LT Right logo. And then you have the L there, which stands for AEBL uh, on different knives of theirs. Uh, you like you have a stamp here that says A, that's for A2. And then on this guy here, the GNSO stands for O2. Good, both good knife steels, but the stainless steel that they use the most is this. I think they have used Magna Cut, but it's not a, one that they use often. And I've never seen them do anything um, much more fancy than that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen anything like 90V, but then again, they make fixed blades. I've never seen them do, uh, what's another good fixed blade? 3V? No, I think they've done 3V, but I haven't seen 3V in a long time from them. May correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, look at those two guys next to each other. That is really cool. So I think that my next, uh, one of my videos coming up is going to have to be a knife collection of just my LT rights, just to show off uh, my LT right collection, because I, I'm, I'm really falling in love with them. I make some great fixed blade knives, and uh, and I, it's sad to me that I've coming like I've collected a lot of their models, not all of their models by a long stretch, but I have a lot of their stuff now, big and small stuff that I haven't even shown uh, here to com compare this with. But um, you know, I need to go camping more and buy less knives. This is really cool. I like the way that this is shaped. I like the way it looks. I just want to go out and freaking chop something down with this. Um, I don't know if I would or not. This is not going to be a wood processor. This is uh, definitely a larger knife that I would use as a kind of a all-around camp knife. Uh, maybe I would split some with this. This is a high saber grind. Not the best thing to split some large pieces of wood with, but anything small and medium is getting the fire started. I'd certainly do that. 
Uh, if I wanted to process larger pieces of wood, I'd use my Scandi grind. I'd use my Genesis here. This thing will go through everything. And this is like a beast. Um, I really like the way that this looks, guys. I really, really do. With those red line liners, I mean, that to me is a sexy, sharp ended knife. Thanks so much for joining me today. Could you like and subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. And if you didn't like this content and you're still listening to me, I don't know why you're still here. But you might want to join me on Patreon. There's a link down below. All you got to do is click on that. And for $3 a month, you get a chance to win a knife. Thanks so much, guys. And I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye.